So today we're doing a bit of building. I don't have very far to go. I'll show you now. Here we go. Literally, we're going out this door. And we're going to go in that door. Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you'd like to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, and lots and lots of other DIY projects, today we're actually doing a bit of building. <laughs> you could start now by subscribing and click on the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Now I've quite a bit to do here. I'm gonna break it down into different bits. You know, the kitchen, the bathroom, um, the, the central heating. It's got underfloor heating, so I'm gonna hook all that up. Um, upstairs we've got some stuff to do as well, so quite a few, but we'll break it down bit by bit. Today <laughs> it's going to be a kitchen wall, so here we go. So the plan today is to put up a stud partition, out as far as that line there if you can see it, 1600mm off the wall, and it's going to go vertical, I'm going to put sheetrock either side of it. So that's the plan, I'm going to get that done, and when I have that done I have another one to do upstairs. Now the length of this wall is going to be 1600 I need two for the bottom, you know, so double sole plate and one for the top. So I need three at 1600. Right, three at 1600 and then I need some uprights. Here we've got my top and my two bottoms all stacked. And I just want to check the height. You know, before I cut all of them, because I've only got a finite amount of timber and I don't want to make a mistake. So look, that's nice and tight. Maybe I'll shave um, just a couple of mil off it because I don't want it too tight. I can always pack it down, but if I drive it on, if it's too tall and I drive it in with a sledge or something, I can end up pushing up the ceiling. Uh, I don't want to do that. But yeah, very close to it now. Now you can put one of these walls together very quickly. So I want these at 400 centers. 400 centers is about just short of 16 inches. 15 and 3 quarter inches or thereabouts. So 400, 800, 800, here we go for 12, and then the last one is obviously at the end of the board, and that's 400 as well. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go center with the timber and drive a couple of screws in. Now very easy to get these in and unlike um, you know like a Phillips head where it won't stay on the screws actually want to stay on these things. Make sure I'm still square. Square now. Okay. And we'll just go along like that we have this wall done. So this is the 1600 millimeter sole plate for that wall. And I'm just leaving it there floating for a minute. So the deal is I'm going to stand it up mostly in position and then just kind of jockey it in or persuade it to get in. Now there might be cursing, <laughs> certainly use of a hammer and maybe a nail bar. So I'm just going to offer this up for now and we'll see. Now to further complicate things, I've got underfloor heating in this room, so I can drill into the floor a bit, but if I go through a pipe, <laughs> I could fix it, but I don't want to have to. So here we go, I'm gonna stand this up. Let's stand this fairly close to where it's gonna go. Okay. Now I'm just gonna offer it up. I want it to be a tight fit, but I don't wanna wreck the house doing it. Now already I can see it pushing on the ceiling, but it has to go in. And it's going to go in around there. There's not much in it. Okay, that's looking very good. That's pretty good. Not exactly yet, but pretty good. So let's check that out against the wall. Oh, that's lovely, yeah. On the top then, 
Let's check that out. <laughs> That's lovely on top as well. Now the sun keeps coming out and messing with the camera. So let's mess with the aperture here. There you go, how's that? Yeah, it's spot on. Okay, so maybe you can see the, the level, I'm not sure, but it's, it's absolutely spot on where it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this in here and that's going to hold this to the wall. We'll put another one further up um, and then I'll do the same into the floor. So here we go. I have to go in at this sort of an angle because this is in the way, but that's normal. So just before I go in further, these are 8mm express nails. This one is 8 by 150, so it's about 6 inches long. Okay, so that's it. I'm in the depth. I'm in long enough to get this one in. And literally, I'm just going to drive it through this hole now. Now, these are compression nails, you know, but we call them express nails here. So that's it. Okay, so I've got some red tape. I want to hit the red tape, halfway through the red tape, that's it, I'm in far enough. Now, if you can see this, it's just about an inch too long, which means that when I drive it down flush with the wood, I'm one inch into the concrete. I actually don't want to go in any more than that. So by the time we get down to the top of the nail, we'll be into the floor. Okay, so I'm just clearing the hole so that as I'm withdrawing the, uh, the drill bit, we don't let any of that fall back in. Now, our express nail. Maybe you can see it from that side. We're only going to go in about an inch. So I'm going to drive that in. And that's it. Even though I've underfloor heating in here, the pipes aren't on the surface. They're down a bit. Just gone down through the top layer. Like, I'm not trying to get through all the plasterboard and everything, just literally the paper. And I'm just lining this up now for the, the last of the cut. Okay. And that's it. The fact that it was sliced on the far side means if I tap it in and around the slice, there you go, and it folds along the cut. So literally, I'm just going to cut along that. And I'm going to cut back this way as well, so I'm into the center then. So that's it, it's cut. Now if all I was going to do was joint it, I'd have the bright side out. But I intend to plaster this, so I'm going to put the, the back, the grey stuff, have that out. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so we're up at the ceiling now. We've got the first screw in. Let's get a few more in. Okay, that's it. And there's the back of the wall. In that wall now I'm going to have to put um, some grounds for the presses for the kitchen cupboards, the other side of the wall. Uh, also there's going to be um, a couple of sockets and a light switch and maybe a pipe down the wall as well. I'll show you that when I'm doing it. So that's it, I want to get this done during the summer. So every now and again, I'll bring you in and show you the progress on this job, show you what I'm up to at that particular stage of the video. I want to get some waste oil burner stuff done as well. And I have a couple of other projects. I'd love to go flying and, and uh, you know, get up to cloud base and travel, I don't know, with a molder on my back or even without if I'm just paragliding. But I have a ton of stuff I'd like to do if the weather plays ball. It's been thundering and stuff. 
uh, hailstones, that sort of stuff here today, so it's been pretty miserable. So look, I'm gonna leave it there for now. If you liked the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck. Thank you.